Father, our faith looks up to thee. And we pray that you would minister, yes, again, minister to us with a language that we can understand today. For we pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. We sit down with a smile. And let's appreciate the worship team. Thank you, worship team. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, as I said earlier, we are looking at a series that I started earlier because I had said we will start, then Easter will come. And Easter came. We had even visitors last Sunday. But I want to pick it from now and see how far again we can go. Divine intervention. We all want God to intervene for us. And we said, if God is going to do it, then we have to step out. We have to step out. And as we step out, what we are going to do is to stretch. And I have talked about stretching in this church for a while. And I know that some of you know, when you, once you stretch yourself, there is no way that you're going to shrink back. And that is important for us as in this journey of faith. And today we are looking at uh, that God wants me to step into and embrace faith. So that I don't just get into faith, but I also embrace it. The heart and the spirit of this series, if you want to get back to that place, is that every person gets into a place of faith where God can encounter you, where God can intervene on your behalf. And you see, it is when I get to that level where I know that God is not only encountering, enter, encountering me, but also God that is ready to intervene on my behalf. The last message was that man who had a withered hand and we said what he did was not only to step up, but he also stretched that withered hand and health and strength came upon him because God encountered him. God intervened on, it, on his behalf and it was, made, it was all made possible by faith that he had faith in God to do the amazing and wonderful things that you and I desire. So we are saying we step into a new realm of faith so that my life is no longer, you know, I, I have faith in God. I, I, I know, help my unbelief, but I want to have that faith that I, God can intervene on my behalf because there are so many battles, you believe you me, there are some battles that will come to you in the middle of the night and you don't know what to do. There are some battles that will come and you think you have an army behind you and none of them will say anything, even in defense or for anything. And there you are, even your family members might not know what to do for you. So you need to step out yourself in faith and by faith that God will come for you because God will always come. But you know what? If victory today is found, if you, get, you got victory, even your enemies will celebrate with you. There, some of them will even tell you, me, I'm behind you. But you know, sometimes I don't need you behind me. Sometimes I need you in front of me. Sometimes I need you on my side. Sometimes what you need is someone to speak to you and to your spirit to encourage you so that you can have faith in that God, that your faith can be revived. So for me to walk into that uh, great divine intervention of God, the first thing that I need is to step into a new realm of faith. Stepping out into a new realm of faith. In the gospel, Luke chapter 17 verse 5, the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 3, we are bound to thank God always for you. That's what Paul is saying, brethren, as it is fitting because of your faith grows exceedingly. In other words, Paul is praying for them that your faith will be increased, that our faith will be increased. You know, if, you, if where you are, the faith you had yesterday is the same faith that you have, I can promise you and guarantee you the results will be the same. But if you allow the Lord to push you a little bit and have faith in God, and the first service we were told about risking, but we were also told walk with the millionaires, and if you are six, then the sixth person will be you. And even if you haven't started being a millionaire, they will push you into becoming a millionaire. Walk with the people that criticize anything. You know, there are some good people. They criticize anything. Even 
the visitor who visited us the last Sunday. They, they, they are people who did not see any good in it. They criticize anything. But you know what? There are also people that will tell you something good about visitors that visit you. And that is about life. But I'm going to love the Lord because, you know, and serve him because I love him. It is important for your faith. And no wonder the disciples are saying, increase my faith. Let me have a little more faith. Just a little more faith. And Paul is praying for the, the disciples. If you like, a prayer of faith will go something like this. God grant us a supernatural infusion of faith that matches the times and drives us forward, strengthens our spirit to put a stake in the ground, opens our eyes to see the unlimited number of possibilities that surround us right now, inspire us to go after bold visions and, ach and archives and achieve extraordinary things for God's kingdom. That could be a prayer of faith. Where we are all saying, God, grant us a supernatural infusion of your faith. That matches the times and drives us forward. Because the times that we live in are not easy. Even politically, economically. Queuing for fuel. And when you are just about to get in, you have to be pushed. Because the fuel you had was not enough. Unaona mtu anasukumwa. Nani gari hii ni gari ile. Unajua kuna gari zingine ukisukuma hata kuzukuma kwenyewe. Aibu dogo dogo na kubwa kubwa zote. Iziko zinachanganyika pale. Na gari na, na heshima zako umefunga tai na uko na briefcase kwa gari. Na Romeo kai mota Diego ikia. You know, men come and push. But we are saying in those situations that we find ourselves and you could be in a situation like that. Your prayer should be God grant me supernatural infusion of faith. And that faith is not just a faith, the ordinary faith. It is the faith that matches the times and drives us forward because we need to go forward regardless of the situation. We need to go forward. No, you know, even when bread was 35 shillings per a loaf that was um, huge, or 500 grams, there are some people that could not afford it. So I normally say, at a sahi kitoka, miyamoja. Najwa ijafika miyamoja, miyamoja. Kuna watu watakula tu. Lakini kuna wengine watakomplain wakila. Kwa hivya itakuwa baraka kwao. Inyanyue na ushukuru mungu. Ndiyo tuliambiu ibada ya kwanza. Uwe na gratitude. Una inyanyua na gratitude. You know. You know the speaker of the first service really spoke to my spirit. You know. There is a statement he made. He, he made this statement. He said. If you cannot be thankful for the things that you are seeing God has done. Then thank him. For what God has delivered you from. Knowingly and unknowingly. For us that we, are, we met here, the G12 we met here, we were given a testimony by one brother who went to Kabati. And he wants to go to a, a hole, but he discovers, he hears another voice. Ha gudogodha. Gudogodha ni kueka muti kwa shimu. Aliona shimu wakaona hii shimu ninge dogodha. Wakazuguka huko kwa mashamba, huko kabati, mashamba, mashamba, mashamba. Then, wakirudi saa moja hivi, kuna, ka, kuna katuma kidogo. Pale, iyo shimo ilikuwa, karibu hapo. Akakuta kuna nyoka, ambaye sika nyoka, ni kinyoka. Tasa, alie muokoa ni mungu alie mwambi, wacha kudhogodha. Kwa sababu kama wangia dhogodha, siyange sukuma labda nyoka huko ndani. Na ikitoka. There are some of us, buwana ametuokua kutoa kwa mambo kama hayo. Hata wakati ya usitoke hii, teremukia hapa. Mungu hii ni ndefu sana. Kumbe ya nakuokua kishimu kilikuwa pare na kimeanguka mtu mwingine. So we are saying, God, I want supernatural infusion of faith that I will have faith in God. I will have faith in God. That I will not only go forward, I will be strengthened in my spirit so that whatever is happening, I will take not only my ground, but also my eyes will be open up for unlimited possibilities. 
you know tell your neighbor bishop and attack to do this darasani just say bishop wants to take us back to class you know sometimes it's good to go back to class and then ask ourselves what is faith and please don't don't look at me like you know allow us just to remind each other because some of us would speak and as we speak we are also doubting and pulling it down i know god and then you are saying but now my brother is dead no i'm the resurrection yes i know he will appear then but right now my brother is dead but i also know you are the resurrection huyo dada si alikuwa na imani na kuchanganya migu kiasi eh na wengine wetu tuko hivyo God can take you you know like I pray for your passports here you have faith that God is going to take you places but some of you don't don't go towards the places and there is nothing There's, that he huyo mhubiri wa ibada ya kwanza si alini and bless mwashi si alini bless ati ukiangalia kwa kwa ufuo wa bahari meli hiyo beba baraka zako ndio ile ah bwana usigoje wacha kuigo Anything can happen in between. The pirates can appear any time. Ni yangu eh ni yako. Swim across. Tafuta kamerika dogo. Tafuta watu mwende. Tafuta if it alini bless. Hiyo ndio inaitagwa imani. I wish he was around here so that mungiampigia makofi. Ama huko umeketi upande gani? Reverend. Okay. So let's remind ourselves let's go back to that class what faith is. You know because faith sees the impossible believes the incredible and receives the impossible. That's what faith is all about. Faith sees the invisible. Faith believes the incredible and faith receives the impossible. So if somebody was going to ask you what faith is, you tell him, faith is not just having that I know the Lord Jesus Christ in my heart. No, faith is I will see something where others are not seeing. I'm going to believe that God will do something that is greater than myself. I'm going to receive the impossible. Secondly, faith is the empty hand of the soul that reaches out to God to return it full that's what faith is faith when i stretch my hand to god my, faith simply means it is empty but i have faith so i stretch it to god when others are looking at me they are wondering unasikia vizuri eh nasikia vizuri unajua mkono ni nini ni gari gari kwa ni gari zinatokaka binguni wewe ni wache bwana na inua mkono wangu ni mtupu na upatia Mungu ili ukirudi urudi umejaa that's what faith is all about and you can come to church here some of us have faith they lift their hands and they live with something others lift our hands we get tired then it was not hands of faith but if i'm going to stretch my hand empty hand of faith then i will receive it in full finally faith faith believes god and believes god is God who does the impossible. If, he, if God we can only do what Kemani can do, that is a kikuyu God. But God can do what no other person can do because he is God. People talk ill about you, but God lifts you up. People don't, they, 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 they kind of talk evil about you, but God still lifts you up. Because God is God. Na Mungu si mkikuyu. Mungu ni Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And God by faith he will do what only God can do. There are some scriptures in the Bible that actually helps us to understand this. 2 Corinthians 5:7:4 We walk by faith not by sight. Now tell sir a christian walk by faith not by sight he will tell you no 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 i am still waiting first of all to see before now that is not faith 
But faith is, if God has said it, like he told Abraham, I will pack off and go. I will just pack off and go. Where? Because God has said it. The book of Acts 6 and verse 8, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. That was Stephen. In Luke chapter 7 verse 9, when Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I said to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. The famous verse, Ephesians 3.20, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Very, very powerful faith words. Hebrews 11 verse 6, But without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone... Anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Matthew 17 and verse 20. So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, be, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you, will, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. If you have faith, I hope you are hearing what the, the word of God is saying. Matthew 9, 29, then he touched their eyes saying, according to your faith, let it be to you as you desire. And that is what God does for us every time we come to church. It is according to your faith. According to your faith. No wonder the disciples are saying, Lord, give us, help us to have little faith. Matthew 15, 28, then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith, let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Matthew 21, 21, so Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith do not, and, and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree, but also if you say to the mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. Habakkuk 2, verse 4, Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. So that is what faith is all about. God wants me to have faith, to trust him for those things that are impossible. Impossible. Second step, second thing that we need to do, to step into the supernatural realm of faith, we need number one, to get to a place to understand again, go back to class, to understand again what faith is all about. I tell you, if you can understand what faith is all about, your life will never be the same again. Number one, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hebrews 11 verse 1. So in other words, four things here in that verse. That faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Faith forms a solid ground for what is hoped for. Faith is a title deed of things hoped for. Faith gives substance to our hopes. So faith is a key for us. Number two, faith is the conviction of things not seen. We are still in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. And it is the proof of things we do not see. Faith makes us certain of realities we do not see. Faith is to go beyond our senses and see the invisible. Faith is the demonstration of things not seen. Faith. Faith. Oh, I pray that God can allow us to have faith in God. Faith in God. Faith in God. Romans 4, verse 17 to 21, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God in whom he believed. The God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. 
He faced that. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had the power to do what he had promised. Don't you think that is what is needed for us? To keep on knowing that God will perform. It might not be there yet, but God will perform. You know, when thinking about Abraham, one of the, 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 the things that come to me is that every time time is mentioned, time is mentioned, there are many things that happen when time is not working on your side. Time. But if you can still wait a little longer, the Lord will still bring his promise. You know, Sarah preached to Abraham and he told Abraham, what God said is true, he'll give you a, a child. But he, he told you, not necessarily through me, but it is through me, through them. Because Sarah had girls that were working for her. But God says, no, 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 no. It is Sarah. Even as old as she was. And yet God waited so that Isaac could be born, so that he can be the seed of promise. And Isaac can have Jacob and Esau, God of promise. And Jacob can have the 12 sons, God of that promise, fulfilling it until you and I find our hope in him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thirdly, faith is the power that creates things out of nothing. You see, it, it is hard for me to explain what I mean. But one of the examples that I have is personal example. When I was in high school, I, I started preaching when I was in high school. And one time something hit me. And it hit me when I was even expelled for not having 20 shillings for fees. Kafukuzwa. And as on my way, wondering what to do, I met two, two sister nurses in training. Those days, nurses were paid something. So I told them, Nimefukuzwa. One of them gave me the 20 shillings. And as I went back to pay the 20 shillings, I felt the Lord telling me, one day, look up at the sky. Now, as I went, I started feeling, <laughs> but you know, I went believing that God is able to do it. And I started confessing to the other guys. And some of them would say, Wewe, si baba yako ni mgonjwa na mekua mgonjwa meyaka miwiri. My father got sick for almost two years, then he died. Wewe, si hata ulikuwa mefukuzo hauna pound, pound. Ile ndege ni ngiri tatu kuenda Amerika. Utapata. God, all what God wants me to have today is to have faith in him. And leave the rest to him. He knows how to command the heaven and cause the heavens to do the things that he alone can do. That is our God. So high school is over. My father dies in January of that year when I finish high school. And, I, and you think about Form 5. It's a dream that is too far. So you don't even look, look for it. And I start preaching in the streets of Nairobi. Now God, that's why I say God is awesome. God brings me something <laughs> We! Kuwa na imani na mungu. Mungu siya thumani. Mungu ni mungu. Nikabebwa kutoka Nairobi na Land Rover zile zilikuwa mpia. Mimi ni meenda kuwa interpreter. International interpreter. Trukana. Na lala hotel ya wazungu inaituwa kitale hotel. Kwa sababu mimi ni interpreter wa mzungu. When God wants you to take you places, he behaves in ways that even you yourself, you look at yourself, unaji enjoy. The first place was I acted as an interpreter. Wapokoti, hawavai nguo, wakati ule, sasa wanavaga. Miaka hilo. Tumenda kwa ubiria. Mimi na tafsiri kizungu. Naweka kiswahili. Na mutu mungine na tafsiri kipokoti. Kuna mwile alianza Sweden, anaanza ki Swedish. Anamaliza, mu Swedish anaweka kingereza. Anamina, ananitumbuka, ninapata. 
na mimi napatia sio ni sinema But God was not interested in me having a movie because I also saw my movie when I went to Sweden. But the point is this. Ile ndege na watu wetu hata wakikusanywa wote wachange singeingia ndege. Hiyo ndege analeta watu ambao wanaweza nibeba na hiyo ndege. Mashini ina ika blow. Hii mashini ina hii pia ika blow. Muzungu akawa mwekundu. You know wazungu nao hafichagi. Akikazirika sura yote ina kwa sababu hana sauti. Anategemea hizi vitu. Unajua kama ni sisi ni kuweka ile kikero ama karatasi tuaje kuhubiri nayo. Yeye akakasirika akasema let's go back to Nairobi. Tukaenda kitale kulala ili the following day turudi Nairobi. Do you know God caused me to do something that is not normal? Nikaitisha hiyo mashini imeungua nilale nayo kwa rumu yangu. That is crazy. Wananiangalia. You wanted to sleep in your room? Yes. Wakanipatia. You can even keep it. Unajua haina faida. So nikakokota mashini yangu, nikakokota nikaingia karumu kangu. Si nilikwambia nilikuwa kwa rumu ya wazungu. Kwa hivyo ni rumu yangu peke yangu. Na hiyo ni 70 something. Kwa hivyo marumu nimeanza kuirara kitambo. <laughs> Do you know when I entered there the prayer that I prayed was very simple If God heals people broken bones God mends If God does that I'm not a technician I will open the machine and God when I open I want to see what is wrong with it with these naked eyes Now that is crazy Ask ask Moses you don't do electrical things with your hands they will burn you But when I opened it, lo and behold, there was a wire that had snapped. I even sm- you know, smiled back. See, God unaansaga mapema. That was quick. <laughs> Because surely enough, all what I did was take the two wires that had snapped and fix them with my own hands. Then put it on the power, it was working. The mzungus were taking coffee before they go to bed. So I took it back there, machine had said, now it's working. I'm saying this to understand that God can change your life with only one miracle. Ka miracle ka moja tu. From that point on, huyo jamaa mu Sweden hakuniita jina lingine engineer. You, you engineer. Oh God, you are awesome. There are some of you, you, you engineer. Hey, God can do it. All what we need is faith in him. When we finished our last meeting in Mombasa, he said, "You, you engineer, Sweden, Sweden." I waited a couple of months. Ticket came for me. Where? Get into a plane to go where? Sweden as who? Engineer. To do what? To make sure the equipment don't blow up, to blow cold air when the tent is hot, to blow some cold air when the tent is hot by the grace of god the machine never blew again because god he knew i was not a technician i'm saying faith faith oh my goodness if god can only help you the power that creates things out of nothing is it to ziki blow hata sitakaki kuziguza <laughs> engineer engineer wanini because my engineering was for that time may god give you that spirit to do that which you cannot do and you do it now so that it can trigger you to what god wants you to become one miracle one miracle changes your life forever hii nayo wakati nayo so by faith We understand that the words were framed by the word of God and so on and so forth. There are many things that we can say about that. But the point that I'm saying is that may God help you to step into giving also by faith. And because of time, I better f- stop there. So that you can come to church next Sunday. 
and for you that are viewing so that you can also view us. We'll be looking at stepping into giving by faith. Because you see, if God, we want God to intervene into our lives. We have to get to a place where we stretch ourselves. And one of the keys for my getting a release is when I can give it to God and not sweat in my palm and not panic for my life. And we will get that next time. I want to ask the choir to come and help me. I want to pray for some people here. And I want to ask the ministry team if you can st step out here for a minute. I don't know what you are believing God for. And you know what? Simply, faith. Humanity. Faith. Now I've told you what faith is all about. There are some ministry team members out there who we'll sing a simple chorus that says, only believe. All what you need yourself is only to believe. Don't bother. Only believe. All things, including what you're believing God for. All things, including what you're believing God for. is possible. Only believe, only believe, all things are possible, only believe. Can I ask the rest of us to stand, lift up our hands to the Lord? And what God is saying, all what you need is to believe, only only, only to believe him. All things are possible. Only be. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. All things are possible. Lord, I believe. Amen. can give you victory out of it. That is the faith that you have. That all things are possible including 
that which is holding you back. I want you to say this prayer after me. If that is your faith. God grant me. Let's say it together. God grant me. God grant me. A supernatural infusion of faith. That matches the times and drives me forward. Strengthens my spirit to put a stick in the ground. Lord, open my eyes to see the unlimited number of possibilities that surround me right now. Inspire me to go by faith after bold vision and achieve extraordinary things for God's kingdom and for my family and for my business in Jesus name let's say amen and give the Lord praise in the heart Lord I believe Lord I believe Lord I believe Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them, I believe also. Tell another one, I believe also. Maybe that one does not believe you. Look at the one who believes in you. Tell them, I believe. All things are possible to me in Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord again praise.